Let's compare ulcerative colitis versus Crohn's disease. Let's start with a brief overview. Ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease are both types of inflammatory bowel disease, also called IBD. They both involve the gastrointestinal tract and are chronic, possibly lifelong conditions. It's important to know that inflammatory bowel disease, or IBD, is not the same as irritable bowel syndrome, or IBS. Now let's look at the core differences between ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. Ulcerative colitis is described as a chronic inflammation and ulceration of the colon, while Crohn's disease is described as chronic inflammation of the gastrointestinal tract. Let's look at the locations in which we'll see symptoms appear. Ulcerative colitis affects the large intestines and rectum only, while Crohn's disease can affect anywhere along the GI tract, meaning from the mouth to the anus. But it's important to know that in Crohn's disease, the intestines are most commonly affected. Now let's look at thickness, or how deeply the condition affects the organs. In ulcerative colitis, inflammation and ulcers will affect the submucosal layer or mucosal layer of the tissue. While in Crohn's disease, inflammation is transmural, which means across the entire wall of the organ. If we break apart transmural, trans means across, and mural means the wall. Now let's compare the appearance. Ulcerative colitis appears as continuously inflamed regions with no patches. Like the name suggests, in ulcerative colitis, we see ulcers. You can remember this by the memory trick, ulcerative colitis, think bloody ulcers. When it comes to the appearance of Crohn's disease, we see something different. We see a scattered appearance and patches of inflammation throughout the bowel. These patches create a cobblestone appearance. You can remember this by the memory trick, Crohn's think cobblestone. Now let's look at the complications. Complications of ulcerative colitis include toxic megacolon, rupture of the bowel, and dehydration. Because of these things, patients with ulcerative colitis are at risk for hemorrhage or shock related to hypovolemia or low fluid volume. Remember, these patients experience bleeding ulcers which lead to blood loss. Where patients with Crohn's disease are at risk for complications such as abscesses or fistulas. These put the patient at risk for infection and sepsis. Let's look at the classic must-know signs and symptoms for each. Both diseases can produce diarrhea and abnormal stools. In ulcerative colitis, diarrhea may have mucus, blood, or pus. But in Crohn's disease, we see steatorrhea, or bulky, frothy, pale stools. Other symptoms include abdominal pain, weight loss, and nutritional deficiencies and electrolyte imbalances. These can be caused by a lack of vitamins and nutrition and excessive diarrhea leading to imbalance. And lastly, these patients may experience fatigue. Let's look at how these conditions are diagnosed. Both are diagnosed with a colonoscopy. This procedure is an invasive but common test where a scope is inserted through the anus to visualize the walls of the GI tract. Now that we looked at the differences between each condition, let's look at some similarities. It's important to know that there is no cure for either condition, so surgical interventions are to help symptoms. An example would be a colectomy. Ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease are both forms of inflammatory bowel disease or IBD. Remember, this is not the same thing as irritable bowel syndrome or IBS. Both have causes that are not completely known or understood. And both lead to an increased risk for colon cancer. 
Now let's look at some diet modifications patients with both conditions should follow. We want to decrease fiber, increase protein, increase calories, and increase fluid intake. We want to encourage small, frequent meals because these are best to avoid overstimulating the GI tract. Now let's do a final review comparing the most commonly tested on for ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. Ulcerative colitis affects the large intestine and rectum only, where Crohn's disease can affect anywhere along the GI tract. Ulcerative colitis is inflammation that runs through the submucosal or mucosal tissue layers, where Crohn's disease inflammation runs transmurally or across the entire wall. Ulcerative colitis appears continuously inflamed with ulcers, where Crohn's disease appears as scattered inflammation and a cobblestone appearance. And it's important to note that there's no cure for either condition. We want to educate them on diet modifications such as decreased fiber, increased protein, increased calories, and increased fluid intake. That's all for ulcerative colitis versus Crohn's disease. If you want more videos that are not on YouTube, check out Nurse in the Making Plus. This includes access to our growing video library, interactive worksheets that go with each video, and practice questions. You can get access to Nurse in the Making Plus with the Complete Nursing School Bundle. Click the link to the Complete Nursing School Bundle and join thousands of other future nurses using Nurse in the Making Plus. You got this, future nurse.